friends, neighbors, and of course, the YouTube comment section. Hello. And happy Saturday. This is my first Saturday off in like two months. And how am I spending it? Doing some electrical work at my house. And as I'm sure most of you can probably ascertain, I'm a bit out of the ordinary with most of my goings-on of the world. And I have three panels at my house. So uh, I do have a whole house generator, which is this guardian panel right here. This is my main panel. And then I have a separate sub panel um, that uh, handles stuff on the patio. Um, so my logic here was I wanted to have a, a third sub panel so that when I work in the studio and do basement stuff, which is eventually going to happen as I build my studio down here, I wanted to be able to turn power off down here and not affect the entire house, which is what I'm about to do today. Um, so I figured that you guys would like to come along on this little electrical journey. So my task today is to label the breaker panel uh, a little bit better. Now I did this previously, which is what the pink spike tape is. However, Gina got sick of looking at the pink spike tape upstairs and took them off all of the outlets. So I uh, need to go and retrace those. And boy, I bought a really cool Klein toner kit to do that. Pretty excited. Can you feel it? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Um, so one of the projects to do today is there's a lot of these breakers that are off. Um, and I think that they have been moved to the um, sub panel here. So I'm on a fact finding mission to do that. Uh, the other thing is I put a steam shower in upstairs. And one of the goals today is to wire that in, which is that little gray guy on the wall over there. Um, so I'm going to pop the lid off of that and see. I believe it just needs two hots. Um, I think it needs two hots and a ground. I don't think it needs a neutral. But before we run anything, um, I do have another double pole breaker that uh, I can put in. So if you're looking down here, um, there's this double pole 100 amp breaker, which I don't really know what that is, which is interesting. I kind of just assumed that that was this guy. Um, so basically when, it, when you uh, flip a generator, um, there's what's called a transfer switch, commonly known as a Jenny switch. And what it does is if you lose power here, uh, the generator kicks on and then it backfeeds the main panel and that's how you get power. Um, but I would assume that's what this double pole hundo is, but it's off, which is interesting. Um, let's see. This is the basement sub panel, double pole 100. Uh, this, this guy is on. This was my electric stove, which I no longer have. Or perhaps not. This is the electric stove, which is off. I wonder what this guy is. Double pole 50. Hmm. Okay. Fact finding mission. So, uh, before, uh, I'm going to shut the power off. I'm going to flip the main breaker and let you hear the transfer switch because I remember the first time I bought this house, that scared the ever-living crap out of me. So, um, well, I guess before we do that, let's uh, see what the power requirement is on the steam shower unit. Well, we have the cover off the wall. And check this thing out. Or I should say we have the cover off of the unit. So check this out. There's just a little tank in there. And there's just this little piece of insulation that goes right there and there's a sensor and a little logic board and that's what's going on so let's see they've got wires that's cool l1 l2 and ground and then they just wire to this little terminal right here that's interesting this wire feels awful thin this feels like 10 gauge wire Trying to see if I can read on the side here. Yeah, this wire doesn't feel particularly thin. If I was a betting man, I, I can't really read the description on the side. It's It feels kind of weird, but none of this is very thick. I would say that it because it's flexible, it's probably 10-gauge wire. Um, but it needs a double-pole 
30 amp breaker and I ended up buying eight gauge wire um, just to get over to it. But yeah, it does not appear that it needs a neutral. There's little fuses on the board there. Yeah, so it just needs L1 and L2. I mean, this is actually kind of cool. I have 10 gauge Wagos at the shop. I can just use, um, I can just use a Wago to splice this. This isn't a big deal. Well, let's see, do they have chassis ground? Yes, they do. All right, cool. Well, now that this is open, I can pop the panel, and it actually looks like the cable run is going to be pretty simple. Uh, this is parallel with the studs and not perpendicular. I was kind of sweating because I didn't bring a Forestner bit home. So, all right, let's pop this panel. Okay, so let's. Uh, throw the breaker here and let's get ready for some loud chunky uh transfer switch action so here we go that's the uh, ups there's the generator starting or trying to start there we go now the transfer switch should click in. There it is. All right, so now that that's going, let's uh, pull this panel here and see what's energized. All righty, so in our panel, these are our main lugs up here, and this is an old enough panel that it doesn't have the little safety guards on them, so I have my little voltage tester. That's still hot. That's still, that's still hot. Um, so, the interesting thing about the uh, whole house generator is a lot of this stuff is just split with wire ties. So as far as our bus bar goes, let's see what we've got. What's hot on this side? So there's a lot of breakers that are unused. So I've got one, two, three breakers that are unused. These guys are all... Oh, that's interesting. This is my generator. This should be my generator. Wow, and there's this double pole hundred. Oh, this isn't the generator. This is the... Um the range and then this is the sub panel this should be the generator and it's not interesting yeah there's actually a lot of breakers in here that aren't being used so this is hot is my bus bar still hot Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. These are my main. This is my main neutral. These are my hots. From the generator. That's interesting that these aren't hot. All right, I'm going to go upstairs and take a walk. Let's see what lights are on. Uh, it's been a few days since uh, I started this project, so I decided to not use the sub panel because that breaker that I purchased did not fit. But because I have this in here, I've got my two wires coming out. So the black wire is for the steam shower and the yellow wire is for the toilet. So our next step now is to run these wires over to the steam unit. Well, we've got it ran. So now the only thing that we have to do is knock out one of these punches and put a cord grip in, and then we can make our connection. So the wire's in, and the way that this terminates at the board here, there are these two little lugs, and I think that I could probably disconnect the manufacturer's whip that just sort of goes to nothing and shove a 10-gauge uh, terminal on this thing and terminate it right at the board. So I'm going to try that. All right, look at that thing. There we go. Splice the ground in with a Wago. Got our two hots in there. God, it looks like I'm uh, actually an electrician. Nope, nope, definitely, nope. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not an electrician. Anyway, all we have to do now is get the uh, controller, controller wired in, and I think we can turn this thing on.
All righty, we are all wired up. The only issue I have is I had so much slack with this. Um, I don't have an RJ11 here. I have the crimper, but I don't have the connector. So I think that that will probably be okay. I cleaned up this wiring also. We had that nice big thing that was hanging down. So the only step left here is to uh, put power to it and run upstairs and see if she works. Well, I think we're working. We've got to go through our normal uh, heat. I guess this is a heat up sequence. This is the first time we're using it. So uh, I'm just going to let it do its thing and, and go. But I hear water running and I hear the pump on. Well, there we go. It's working. So I would say that our shower steam unit install has been a success so thanks for stopping by as always if you're interested in following more of these home construction projects check check the upper right hand corner of your screen for a link and uh we'll catch you on the next one see ya